I love Halloween. This is a time of year when exterior decorators go all out. We have a wreath that we haven't put up yet. But you can't blame Bob Merch. It's nice to be toned down. For a lackluster front porch. It's very minimal. He isn't going all out this year because he's gone all in. Being the world's foremost collector or historian on Ouija boards, you don't always want people to know where you live. Wait, what? You're looking at over 125 years of Ouija history. This is some of the rarer boards in my collection and kind of out there in general. One of the largest collections of Ouija boards in the country is right in our backyard. I'm the chairman of the board at the Talking Board Historical Society. Or rather in Bob's basement. My mom is really proud. Bob has spent the last 25 years collecting rare talking boards. There are dozens on display here. And you'll see India represented, the Yoji board. We have the pink Ouija board. Some of the boards are a little bit religious. This board right here was um, artist inspired. Right on either side are two little devils and it's the Ouija board. So it's for paranormal potheads. And they're all in working order. We asked the board if Bob's husband appreciates all this stuff. Uh, yeah, that's pretty clear. No. Um, at first, I thought it was a, a hobby with maybe one or two. He has watched it go from 10 boards, which turned into 20 and 50 and 100, to 500 boards, to now over 1,000 different talking boards. I like the hobby. It wasn't so expensive. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to travel more. Bob's obsession with Ouija is less about communicating with the other side. This one right here is 1890. He's obsessed with the history. So talking to the dead in 1890 was seen as normal. So if you walked into a house and you saw a whole family playing the Ouija board, you'd think, cool, I'll saddle right up there and ask questions. So how did we get to a point where we can remember mom yelling at us for playing with these things. In 1973, something very special happens, the exorcist. Suddenly, this thing is potentially scary and dangerous. Has it ever said anything strange to you? I, no, I mean, it depends on what your level of strange is. I mean, my house is covered in Ouija board stuff, so I think my kind of bar for strange is maybe a little <laughs> lower than yours. Some people think they're really spooky and scary. To me, they're pieces of art. They're, they reflect pop culture. They tell the story of our comfort level with death. To other people, they're terrifying. How do I find my way out of here? Oh God, is it dark in here? 